I, I watch these YouTube videos of uh, people talking about starting a website only and using gener AI generated content and how you can make millions of dollars doing it. And honestly, I'm not sure if they're um, necessarily deliberately misguiding people or they have not you know, seen other websites getting nailed. Uh, but in this video, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna just look at AI content. I'm gonna look at web websites that did very well in SERPs and then they got nailed by a Google algorithm update. Usually it's the core algorithm update that nails these websites. Um, that's not to say that they were not ranking. They were doing very really well. In fact, they were ranking one, number one for several hundred keywords before they got smacked. And when that happened, all of their pages got de-indexed and they went from having getting millions of visitors to zero visitors. Now, if you think this is not the case, well then watch this video because there's no such thing as being too big to fail uh, you know if you're not an established brand and which is where uh, developing an established brand comes in and branding comes in but in this video I'm going to look at five instances where the websites just blew up uh, and they were getting millions of visitors and then Google nailed them and we'll look at why Google nailed these websites uh, so that we don't make the same mistakes and then you don't make the same mistakes and you don't fall into the trap that other YouTubers are laying for you or other SEOs are laying for you in general by saying that you can use AI generated content to you know, generate a website with hundreds of pages in a day and then with that you can rank for thousands of keywords and when that happens you can make millions in affiliate commission because it is possible but Google will nail you and they will nail you sooner than they have nailed these websites because now the algorithm is a lot more is a lot smarter so before i get into this guys if you like the video like and subscribe i also do a seo for a living there's a link in the description click the link fill the form and i'll get in touch with you so let's start with conch house so c-o-n-c-h-h-o-u-s-e if you do a google search for them you're not going to find them so conch house was a review site that basically just did reviews i would say at the height of their uh, SEO thing, uh, that's 200, that's over 200K keywords that they were ranking for. And as of August, Mar August 2022, they had over 250,000 pages uh, and the estimated traffic was 3.6 million visitors a month. So they were bringing in a boatload of traffic. Um, Conch House, is, is, as I mentioned, is a review, was a review site and they were used to do like best best and then whatever product that they were reviewing and plus keyword and had they had acquired 14,000 number one ranking so this is a lot so this is like a big website they were probably raking in millions of dollars anyways um, so regardless so this is a huge rise in organic traffic I mean, the website became notorious within SEO circles and it came in my, it came on my radar last year as well and I was looking at the website and I could see that they were using AI generated content and back then uh, chat GPT wasn't a big thing so they were probably using some other tools so they were maybe using Jarvis or uh, maybe several one of several other tools so I'm not gonna just name Jarvis here suddenly on, on August 30th Google just removed the site it, it got de-indexed and just like that it went from getting hundreds of visitors millions of visitors so how the conch house fool google so that's a million dollar question so number one it used an authoritative use expired domain so it bought an authoritative expired domain uh created content targeting best plus product plus keyword so google was not really big in like it was not pin penalizing websites last year that was using this specific string it's not even penalizing websites today that's using this specific string but it's a lot more it's a lot stricter than it was last year if when the website was visible you could see that there were several stock phrases that they would use and they reuse those stock phrases All right so it was it was also building some really bad quality links um but that was not the reason why it failed that was might have been one of the reasons during this period, there were, there were two Google algorithm updates. So one was the July 2022 product review update, and then there was the August 2022 helpful content update. And both these updates uh, nailed this website. So the next website is Find This Best. Now, Find This Best was a website that I had learned about around the time I found out about um, Gonch House. And uh, when I first looked at the website, it kind of looked strange even though they were getting um 
quite a bit of traffic. So they were ranked and our estimated organic traffic according to Ahrefs was over 3 million as of August 2022. Um, if you went on the homepage, uh, it actually looked like a pretty legit website. Um, it looked to me like a pretty legit website. It was well designed and everything. Full Google. Well, the site scraped content word from word from Amazon product listings and then they would target target uh, target best plus product and then query and so it it also likely used some other dodgy black hat tactics but this was their primary tactic which was which is similar to how conch house was doing this somehow google thought that they were producing great content when it was just regurgitated content so it was copy pasted and then some slight changes were made so they weren't even using a spinner um they were just like blatantly copying and pasting content um, if you look at this page uh, this is one of the top pages for the website uh, in the report from august and it shows uh, the page look at i mean this is like a copy and pasted page uh, this is how it compares if we compare uh, this is let's see how this compares so if we copy and paste the product description to google it immediately brings up the equivalent of a of, a, of, a, of an amazon product page they were just like banging out this kind of content and if you can see they were doing pretty well and then suddenly um the, the website tanked and you can see they went from there was they, they were targeting 70 over 77,000 best keywords uh at its peak to then zero but this goes to show you that even low quality scrap content can uh can rank in google if you if you know how to do it correctly but then they're going to catch on to you and then you're going to get you're going to get nailed anyway so it's not a long long term strategy mm. the third website is for new now this is a little bit different uh, at its peak you know ahrefs had reported that this was ranking for over 1700,000 uh, visitors a month uh, and they were ranking for over 600,000 keywords the total traffic was over a million visitors a month as of march 2022 so this was march last year and if you look at the website, it's not a really, it's not a bad design website, but it does look like one of those review websites you go to that's been set up uh, within a fortnight. Uh, if you look at it as, as how, as how did they fool Google? Well, the, the website itself described itself as the place to answer many questions in life, study and work. Uh, if you read the about us page, it was more about information to put us three or four lines of information uh the content appeared to be more of a mix of uh, people also ask uh spam forum uh, spam comments and then something that was copied and pasted from quora and stuff like that uh so if you look at the articles none of those articles were high quality the content had been scraped from quora mainly in my opinion and then there were links so there were links from steemit nethost pinterest so a lot of a lot of these links are not hard to get, um, but they're high DA links. Uh, the same DR81 link we saw with the second website. So now, interestingly, the 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 other website that I mentioned earlier were also getting links from these websites. So this was something in common. Well, as soon as there was a hard, uh, sh hard and sharp rise in traffic, that kind of triggered something at Google, and then when when the March 2022 product review update was launched um that is when it got hit the hardest and the final nail in the coffin was in december when the hs hcu update was was launched and then uh th because it was a more of a link spam update and that was that just was a final nail in the coffin did it manage to fool google not as long as some of the other websites and i would say that i think they already people who were setting up this website knew that they were going to get nailed and they had probably set up other websites as well doing the same thing and so they made their money and then when they got nailed they just uh, sold the domain and you know went ahead and did something else with the money but the fourth website is bike hike now bike hike uh, was one of the websites that that i had learned about early last year and they were ranking pretty decently for over uh, forty thousand keywords um sorry they were ranking for over 4 million keywords um and then over 500,000 of their pages were indexed the total traffic was around the 
over a million visitors a month. The first impression you get when you when you get to a website like that is you would say that this is something, this is a spam website. And most people were talking about it. This is this was a spam website. Uh, and people had asked me like, how is a spam website like this ranking? Uh, when you say that AI content and you know just building, just copying and pasting content should not rank. Um, well, honestly, they were beating the algorithm uh, for at least the shortest time possible, but they did beat the algorithm. Um, the site used an expired domain, so they started out buying a high quality expired domain that already had that already had authority, and then they went ahead and scraped people also ask. So you can do that if you're using SEM rush, you can you can just copy and paste people also ask questions, and then you can just copy and paste their answers. The, the way they appear in Google. And so it also then redirected, Street 301 redirected several expired domains with a high DR. And so they would actively, instead of building links, just go out and buy expired domains and then 301 redirect them. And even though that used to work to a certain extent back then, um, if you were maybe redirecting three or four domains, it would be okay. But when you went overboard with it, like having a dozen domains redirected to you, at that point you would have a problem because then, you know, Google would, would catch on to you. And I think this is what happened in their case, even though the content was really uh, spam. If you go with their organic keyword report, um, you will see that it was it was ranking for some decent volume keywords, but the keyword difficulty was very low. Uh, except for maybe one or two keywords which had a very high keyword difficulty. And so it was really the PAAs, the people also asked, that was ranking for them and it was low competition and they were just copied and pasted com you know, keywords into it. And it was designed basically to exploit Google's algorithm and they were doing a pretty good job of it. So the question is how did it fail? Well, the sharp fall ha happened, you know, when they were, I think, manually hit only way to confirm that would be to Google's to go to the Google Search Console, which we don't have access to. Fool Google for as long as they needed to get traffic for whatever purposes they needed the traffic for, and then Google detected they were that they were spamming and they were ranking, and then Google just hit them hard. So there you have folks. These were some of the websites that last year that had tried to fool Google. By the end of the day, Google nailed them, and they all get, got nailed within a few months of when their traffic went up. Google kind of detected that, and Google made algorithm exchanges, and then all of these websites got hit. And so if your website is hit, for whatever reason, um, usually it's because someone is trying to exploit the system. Google is closing that hole in that system, and that is one of the adverse effects is that your website is being hit as well. And so, which is why SEO now has become this ongoing game of cat and mouse, where there's an algorithm update, you get hit, you find why you were hit, and then you try to work on improving your website so that you start ranking again. And then next month, there's another Google algorithm update, and then you get hit again, and then you'd find a way to uh, re-rank or re-rank your clients. And it is, this is this consistent effort to try and rank your website that means that you need to be at the top of your and so again it comes out it all boils down to you having to work your way up after a go after an algorithm update now i haven't if you're trying to recover from the march 2023 uh, product review update i have a video about that uh, that goes into how you can I get at least begin to recover from the update that i published a few days ago and you can go into that and start working on your website um, so I don't know guys, if you have a question, leave a comment below, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.